October Red boxing with the lovely, he, he, oh, he's stroking his hair again, he's got the perm back out. That's right, I was just getting out of the door now, I've got a haircut booked. Need, need the fight night skin feed. Not timed it very well, I'm looking a, looking a bit shifty, aren't I, at press conferences. Not good, not good, but, you know, I'm looking good. Got the, got the Air Max on, got the Stone Island on, but the skin feed would have been finishing touch. I would say that's true Manchester attire. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. Don't matter how many times you fight on Sky, you know what I mean? You just, uh, oh, but hard boxing these, these trainers if I could. <laughs> no, you'd end up doing your ankles in with them. They're like high heels. Good for kicking in fences, though. <laughs> Not that I'd know about that. <laughs> or doors. <laughs> anyway, right, we are here. We just had the press conference. Obviously, you're fighting Tyler Denny. Um, a good opponent. Look, I think this is going to be a... One of the best fights on the card, if I'm totally honest. I just said the same thing to Tyler. Yeah, 100%. It is a great card, but I think this fight has, um, has every chance of stealing the show. You know, I think we're two very good fighters, two game fighters, and, you know, I think it's going to be a good clash of styles. Um, I think at some, point, at some point in the fight, it'll catch fire. You know, when that, when that is, will be hopefully down to me. <laughs> well, talk to me about those clash of styles because you are completely different and that's what I like you know sometimes people say the styles will gel but yours it's like polar opposites how does that work in the ring yeah it, it is different styles um, I think I think one thing I've noticed from the clips that I've seen of Tyler is he gets aggressive and he does come forward but that's not all he does he you know in a few of his fights he can box on the back foot it can be tricky, it can be awkward and same goes for me, you know, I'm tall, I'm ranger, I like to throw me long shots but I'm happy to sit in the pocket and trade if he wants to um, and I think, you know, at some point that's where we're going to end up no matter what happens. And that fight, making it your fight, because I remember the last one, that, well, the one that stuck out to me was the Manchester fight um, where you literally folded your opponent like a deck chair uh, and, and I, I mean that in a non-disrespectful way um, but you pack some power in your punches yeah, you know, uh, my, my record might not suggest so, but I know, you know, I've got the power to hurt people. I know if I land clean on Saturday night, I've got the power to hurt Tyler. Um, and if I do, you know, I'll be going, I'll be going for, going for the kill. You know, you, we all seen what happened last time at Manchester Arena. Um, you know, I'll be coming out to to another big finish like that again if I can. We talk about those big finishes. But how has this training camp been going? In other words, how have you developed as a fighter? Because I think, is this like your fourth fight with Boxer now? Yeah, so if it is me, fourth fight, yeah, with Boxer. Been you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, I just think, I think I'm getting better each camp. I think I'm getting better each camp. I think this camp, the main thing has been getting the rounds in. Um, my first 10 round fight, okay. never been past eight rounds. You know, I've been doing 12 rounds consistently in the gym. I've been sparring 12 rounds. Tyler's done it multiple times, you know, he's been there, he's been there, he's done it. Um, but, yeah, you know, I'm confident that when he gets deep, when he's getting deep waters in them later rounds, you know, I'm going to be there, I'm going to be there, and I'm going to be going strong. And how has that 12-round preparation been going? I mean, fair enough, I don't want you to get into game plans or anything like that, but give us a snippet, a kind of clip of how you train to prepare for a fight like this. Yeah, you know, it's been going well with me. I think it's more just the rounds... Knowing when to throw these shots, knowing when you, you know adjusting to to picking your pace and when to up the pace, when to slow the pace down. And um, I don't think it's anything too drastic. Just knowing when's your time to go, uh, and that's one thing that we've been working on. Um, you know whether that happens on Saturday night or whether I just go hell for leather from the first round. We'll see. <laughs> and I think that can happen because I think I was speaking to Natasha and she was saying that there were certain things that she had planned for when she fought. Um, I think it was Burgos, her last opponent, but that never happened. She ended up just fighting how she fights anyway, not necessarily to the shots that she was preparing for. Talk to us about your style and having that instinct to be able to be adaptable to what's in front of you, even though you may have worked on things. Yeah, so sometimes in a camp, you know, you'll watch your opponent and you'll think, you'll think a shot will work and you try it in the fight and it, it just doesn't go, you know, but when... When you're an experienced fighter and you've been in the game a long time, you can adjust the fights, you know, you, you don't need to wait for the f three minutes to be up to, for your corners to tell you, you know, you, you can you can see, you can pick your, pick your shots yourself. And for me, it's, I think it's 
one of my big positives, you know, it's one of the big advantages, you know, I can I can find them shots and I can think for myself. Um, so, yeah, you know, if, if that's the case on Saturday night, I'm confident that I can make them adjustments and, you know, find what's going to work. And what is it like walking back into the corner with Blaine? Blaine, obviously, we know that he, obviously you're in the same gym as Chloe Watson as well, another up-and-coming star. What's it like walking back into the corner and getting that advice from Blaine? Depends all around when. <laughs> when he doesn't go so good, what is he like? You know what, he's, he, he's straight to the point. He's very, he's very good in the corner. Gives you a few little points to, that you need to work on. You know, he don't throw loads of information at you. A um, few little bits. Gives you a kick up the ass. Sends you back out. Sends you better fit your game up. So you walking out then on Saturday night, you're ready to walk out. What are those final thoughts when you're in the centre of that ring? and the ref says touch gloves. What are your final thoughts when you're looking to your opponent's eyes as you walk back and everyone, or your corner, steps out of the ring? For me, I, I just think about, you know, the camp that I've done, the sacrifices that I've made, and, you know, the, the holidays I've missed out on, the, the nights out, the, going without the food, not having a beer, you know, not, not doing these things that I want to do. Um, and it all comes down to this moment and you know you need to make it wor worthwhile if you're going to go without them things and you're going to sacrifice them things you know it needs to be worthwhile um, you know when I've got that English title plus, plus my shoulder on uh, Saturday night you know all them sacrifices you know I won't even think about it it won't be nothing because you know getting my hand raised and being a new English champion is what it's all about we love to hear it listen Brad as per usual even with your beautiful curly hair again it's been a pleasure. All the best. I'll be there ringside on Saturday. You probably hear my big Birmingham gob screaming. Cheers. Thank you very much. Hi, and thank you for watching October Red Boxing. Like, subscribe, and tap the bell for notifications. You can also find us on Instagram at October Red Boxing and on Twitter, October Red UK. And remember, at October Red, we stay ready.